sitting on a park bench, howling on the barrels with bad intent. Not running down his nose, greasy fingers smearing shabby clothes. Hey, Aquilon, dying in the cold sun, watching as the a dead duck spitting out pieces of his broken love oh aquilum sun's freaking cold an old man wandering lonely taking time the only way he knows leg hurting It's not 
running down his nose. Greasy fingers smearing shabby clothes. Equilo. Feeling like a drink in the cold sun. Watching as the frilly panties run. Equilo. Feeling like a dead duck. That was Aqualung by Jethro Tull, and I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'll do a basic tutorial covering everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along they might find helpful but right now if you like the video please like the video with a thumbs up if you want lots more subscribe to our youtube channel if you want hundreds more over a thousand in fact uh ukulele free ukulele song sheets downloadable uh each one with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along just like this one then check out our dropbox and then come play with us all right now I'm going to start off by saying this is not an easy song. And I don't think it can be played well in an easier version, which is to say, uh, I didn't bother trying to create an easier version of this because it's like, it would just be lame if, if I did a lame version, you know. And I like the song. It's really cool. So if you're a beginner's beginner, I'm sorry. Um, I don't have an easier version for this. I didn't, I didn't create a simpler version. But... I will tell you, if you like the version I played, it's not crazy hard. It isn't. It isn't crazy hard. The hardest part is, uh, you know, the, the beginning. And all you really have to do is have a rigid left hand. You have to be able to form this position and then move it around really fast. That's all. That's all, that's all. There's only a little bit of finger style. It's, it's not that much. Uh, and you could, of course, leave that off if you wanted to. So, uh, all right, let me just go chronologically through now. The intro is that, uh, now I didn't have a bass, right? The, the bass has lots of, lots of like resonance, lots of chorus attached to it. So it's boom, 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 boom. It doesn't actually have a harmony like I gave this. Right? I, it doesn't actually have two notes, it's just one. But I couldn't do that. I, I couldn't, I can't create that. The closest thing I can get with the ukulele is having a low G on this. Yes, I have a low G. And then having a little bit of harmony like that adds a little bit of, uh, of sort of a chorus sound. And so here's how I did it. I'm only plucking, I'm actually holding on to these strings to make sure they don't make a sound. I'm only going to pluck these two, right? So I'm holding on to these with my fingers. Got my four fingers. I don't need my pinky. I don't need my pinky because I only have four strings. So four fingers on the four strings. And these are the two I'm going to work with, right? So I, the, the, the uh, tab, by the way, the tablature is in the song sheet. It's right there. But here's how I'm doing it. I start with my, I think sometimes I use my index finger. Sometimes I use my middle finger. But regardless, right now I'm going to use my middle. I'm starting out with both. Right, pluck them both, and then I'm just going on the G string, and then G C. I guess that's the third from the floor, and then I'm gonna drop like this. That's it. I've got first fret and third fret, and then just the second fret. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Counting time. And then a little patter here, a drum. That's all I did. 
and I go right into it. So, sitting on a park bench. Now here, this is a, a C sharp, right? You could do it up here too. Anyway, uh, I liked it. I liked it with the deep sound. So that's what I got. I'm barring the first fret. I got a pinky up here, and all I'm doing is sliding. First fret, third fret, fifth fret, and back and forth. Sixth, and all the way down. And now here's the one place where I depart from that. And then a B flat, uh, a B rather. And then back to a D. That's it. That's it. You're going to do that. I'm not sure. I didn't count how many, but probably 20 times in the song. Uh, so if you can practice that in slow motion, practice it until you don't always have to be looking at your fingers to make sure you, right, get it all the way. Right? At the end, you know, that one big jump, okay, but if you can jump up two frets at a time and not miss your place, then you can look at the lyrics, you can look at the chord sheet, you can look at the crowd, better yet, if you memorize the song. If you have to look at your fingers, then it's going to be a problem. So you can look at your fingers to practice. Sure, 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 sure. But practice a hundred times, so that then you don't have to look at your fingers anymore. Yeah, do it. Just... because you need to be able to go back and forth. Okay, that is in fact what I call piece A. You could call it the verses if you want, but well, piece B, B the second section is like an altogether different song almost. This is almost like a little mini rock opera, right? Kind of like Meatloaf does. It's very different, um, the, the second section from the first, but it's, I would want to call those verses. They're not a chorus, they're not a bridge. So I just called it piece A, then piece B. So, so you've got that piece with the, the strong, you know. And then immediately you're going into light. Now I'm strumming. Now all of a sudden, instead of, oh, by the way, I was doing that. I have a big hunk and plectrum, you know, a, a guitar pick sticking off my thumb. So I was using this way. I could make it sound really distinct, really sharp with a pick like this, right? But if you don't have one, you can you can do it. You can do it with your fingernails, you know, strumming like that, whatever you like. But then in piece B, I want it to be much lighter. I want it to be much softer. So I'm strumming with a light touch, and I'm going sun streaking cool, right? Now it's like you're kind of. Sad. It doesn't have the high energy anymore. It's like I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. That's what it's like. So, start out with a, a G, right? Now there are lots of riffs. I called it an F2 riff, a C2 riff, an F riff, an F riff extended. I'm going to show you what I mean by each of those. F2. First of all, this is an F. Okay, this is a second position F. As in one. Seven, right? These are all Fs, but so that's why I call this as the second position F. It just has your pinky down. That's it. It's just an F with your pinky on what would be a C there, you know, G, C, E, A. It's on the A string, but it's making it a C, right? That's a second position F. So I'm starting out on that. So sun streaking cold. That's where I start. And then after I do that, I lay my index finger flat. I'm basically just screwing around on the F string. I've got this, and then I'm going. I want to hear that, right? So I'm laying my index finger flat and dropping my pink pinky on it. An old man and then the same thing with the C. I start with the second position C, right? C is also a C all the way up. So this C, 
I start with here, but I'm actually going to go to a C7. This is an odd C7, right? This is your normal C7. This is also a C7. So I'm just going to pick up. I'm doing the same thing here. See, you hear, you hear the same sound. That's it. So I start with the C. Now, if I could get to it fast enough, I, you know, you could go this. You could go right to this, but I find that awkward. So I go straight to the C because my, my hand just kind of falls there naturally. And then I drop, and then I, then I bar it after when I need to pick this up. So I don't know if I explained that very well, but the idea is I'm not fast and coordinated and skilled enough to jump straight to this. So instead, I jump to this and then bar it when I need to. So, sun streaking cold, an old man wandering lonely. That's it. Then from there, all I need to do is slide my bar off one uh, string and I've got my C minor. Taking time, the only way he knows. Now here's the F riff. So I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. And so I uh, start on the F. And you kind of hear that soprano note as the, the voice almost of it, right? So all I'm doing is dropping a finger on the second for, uh, string, second from the floor. We always count that way. So. so I'm screwing around with the second string and I'm flattening the index finger like that. So... That's what I mean every time I write an F riff. Then uh, the second half of the piece. Leg hurting bad as he bends to pick a dog end. See, it's exactly the same so far. He goes down to the bar and warms his feet. And now here's the extended F. That's it. So I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. And the way I'm doing it, I always leave the F. And then I drop my ring finger there. And I put my index finger. And at the very end, I also drop my ring finger up on the third fret of the first string. So... That's it. That's it. Feeling alone. And the second half of that piece, the second half of piece B is exactly the same as the first half. So, yay. Nothing new to learn there. Piece C is, again, sharp energy. And this one, for the first time, now we have lots of stops. So we're using normal, normal uh, chords. We're not going flying around like this, like we were in piece A, but... We are, in fact, uh, using lots of stops. Do you still remember the December's foggy freeze? When the ice that clings on to your near screaming agony. Hey! Okay, so that first half of that piece, it, that stop is important. You can do it with your left hand, you can do it with your right. Whichever you like, whatever's comfortable for you. And then I'm just zedding in between, kind of keeping time, right? So... Do you still remember? I, I, wrote in, I wrote in F, 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 because that was the idea. It's up, down, down. The December's foggy freeze. When the, and you can, you can strum in between those two if you want, but the emphasis is on where I, where I wrote in the Fs. Do you still remember the December's foggy freeze? With a nice ice that clings on to your screaming agony hey, and you snatch your the last breath the full on strum after that uh, you stop doing the stops 
Stop with the stops, just full on, full energy. Snatch your right to the last breath. That's exactly the same F extended riff, right? It's exactly the same as we were doing slowly in piece B. Exactly the same. Okay. Uh, the second part of piece B, uh, excuse me. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a redo of piece B. It's the lyrics of piece B, except uh, it's in a style that we just had done. So... Sun streaking cold, an old man wandering lonely. You notice this is on the second page there. Instead of uh, instead of what we we're doing previously, we're going to uh, doing a second position or a, a kind of an alternate C. Right? Usually we either do that C or a higher C, but you can leave your ring finger off there, and that still gives you that like bass note, and it's still a C. I called it an alternate C. So, so. Sun streaking cold, an old man wandering lonely, taking time, right, the, from here, just pick up a finger and make sure you're covering three strings and you got your C minor, taking time, the only way he knows. So it's, it's kind of a combination of those two pieces, it's got all the energy and all the stops of what we just did, but it actually has most of the chords and the riffs of the second section. So, uh, that's that. And that's pretty much it in up until the interlude. The interlude, the purely uh, instrumental piece where I apologize that I didn't have a lead guitarist or lead kazooist. Uh, I could have gone kazoo, I guess. That would have been lame, though. Uh, but <laughs> uh, sometimes it can be actually cool, though. Sometimes with a kazoo, it's remarkably uh, remarkable how well how well it works. So I'm not, I'm not dissing kazoo, not by any uh, stretch. Anyway, I didn't, I decided to do this solo. So it was a little bit more boring than if I had had a, uh, a lead, but I tried to do a little of the leads at the first this way, right? That's the, that's the opening. So you, you were just high energy where I were, you, you pour all the just down and then pick up your index finger that's the g suspended second so and let it hang there take a breath and then and all i'm doing is it's f suspended fourth and then i switch to an f and then i only play three strings and then two strings and that way you hear right you hear that in the melody but actually done mostly with my right hand and then a back way back up I want to hear it this I want to hear so I'm going F F put that down and then C C7 and then this is a weird this would be a C5 but I'm doing a step down here I want to hear that's the second string. So, so that's how I'm doing it. All right, and similar to the G minor. And then back to the normal. This is uh, an F extended riff. And then I've got that uh, G minor to E flat, F, G minor, whatever. And the rest of it is uh, is kind of a duplicate of what you've seen earlier in the song. The DD verse and the uh, repeated uh, piece A and the riffs at the end, uh, I think, are repeating. So I'm going to stop talking at you. Now, in slow motion, close up, I guess, on both hands. Let's see how I can do some of this. Uh, without having to do all of it. I think I'll play slow motion, close up, clear through the interlude because I don't really see 
I, there's an awful lot of, uh, of unique stuff at each section clear through that point. So here we go now. You don't need to see my face close up on both of my hands, but we'll do it in slow motion. Here we go. Starting with that intro, I've got my four fingers on this and I'm only gonna use these two fingers. So these two are, are holding the sound down so I don't accidentally hit those strings and they don't ring out. Here we go. Slow motion. Five, six, seven, and. first. Sitting on a park bench, eyeing little girls with bad intent. Snot running down his nose. Pick a dog and he goes. 
goes down to the bar and warms his feet. Bye.